Hey Pectus Warriors, it's Pectus PT from fixpectus.com. In today's video, I want to talk about heart and lung function and how pectus excavatum often impairs that and ways we can go about improving that. Now, firstly, I just want to say I'm not a doctor. I would definitely recommend you seek proper medical advice. Go see a doctor, get your pectus assessed, get a scan, and then you can see how much it is compressing your heart and lungs, if it is, and um, then kind of take the appropriate options. Because realistically, if your pectus is creating a health concern, then surgery can be a good option. Now, pectus really does vary. It comes in all shapes and sizes and all depths. And for me, I, I was born with a mild case of pectus, but it did impact my heart and lung function to a small extent, not to a health concern, but just impaired my ability to exercise and impaired my performance in like endurance. And so for me, I've always suffered from early onset of shortness of birth, exercise induced asthma as a kid, um, and just felt generally unfit in comparison to my peers and relative to my performance in sports that were short and fast, you know, it was night and day. And so obviously pectus probably had something to do with that. Now for me, I've been able to improve that through exercise. And so exercise is a great way to improve your heart and lung function. So if it is impaired to a small extent, you know, nothing that's actually a health concern, but just impairing your performance, you can improve it. One of my favorite quotes is divorce the story of your limitation and marry the truth of your unlimited capacity. I used to be attached to the mindset and the belief that because of pectus, I could never be fit, but I never actually truly worked on it. So you know, until you actually work on something, do you realize that you can actually achieve a lot? But you really do want to get it assessed because the extent to which pectus can impact heart and lung function will vary drastically. It can create things like mitral valve prolapse, which one of my clients actually has, and it can create, you know, all kinds of different health concerns. So it is really worth getting it checked out. But if the only impact it is having beyond obviously the psychological impact that I think we all deal with is also just a bit of an endurance impact and, you know, just not being as fit, then it's something you want to work on. And so for my clients, regardless, you know, you've probably heard the old anecdote that you know cardio kills your gains and you shouldn't be doing cardio well it's not true um, cardio just increases your caloric expenditure and therefore you need to eat more calories in order to continue to be in that calorie surplus which will facilitate muscle growth if you're skinny um, but you certainly can be doing cardio and should be doing cardio when you're even trying to build muscle and so i program cardio as a non-negotiable for all my clients at least once a week because i think with pectus especially it's extra important it's important for your health when i started my journey i was under the belief of cardio kills your gains and also that pectus was making me you know never be good at cardio so why should i do it and i started tracking my my heart rate at night and my resting heart rate was like 65 beats per minute um, since i started doing cardio regularly i've got that down to low 50s at night so a massive improvement in a marker that really does kind of relate to my health okay so you want to be healthy it's important that you're doing cardio and i also am under the impression like for me since i've started doing more cardio like i've really kept a nice lean physique easily whilst in a calorie surplus. And I've just feel great. I've got more fitness, so I recover better. So on leg training sessions where, you know, your heart rate gets up after a heavy set of squats, I'm recovering better for my next set, so I get better workouts in. And overall, it's just been a lot better for me. So definitely be doing cardio um, if you have pectus, because pectus often is not just affecting the way you look, um, it can be impacting your heart and lungs and go get it checked out if you're concerned and then make sure in your program you're incorporating some cardio. I always program swimming if my clients can swim. Otherwise, I love the rowing machine for them. I also love um, running. You know, it's great to be outdoors as well when you're exercising, not just always in a dark gym. And for me, with my journey, obviously, I was weight training to improve the cosmetics of my pectus. I wanted to look good. I wanted to feel confident in my body. And once I achieved that, I entered a bodybuilding show. I won a bodybuilding show. I kind of didn't know where to take my training. And there's a point in which you start obsessing over perfection in your body, in which you develop body dysmorphia. And actually the whole problem you're trying to fix, which is not liking the way you look, you get so obsessed with trying to look a certain way that then you don't like the way you look, even though you have a good body. And so I needed to find a new goal. And so for me, that became then trying to improve my performance, improve my strength, and also improve my fitness. And so I just did a triathlon. And that was a great experience. I've been training a lot with swimming, biking, and running, and really getting fit. And I feel fit. I feel healthy. Um, obviously, I've been still doing my weights to maintain my physique. And I just love weights. I love that style of training. Um, I think it's so good for you as well. But anyway, I just wanted to make a video talking about cardio for pectus, talking about heart and lung function with pectus, because it is an important topic that I often don't address. I'm often just talking about the way you look and building muscle. But this is very important. Health is your number one thing. 
You know, when you're sick, the only thing you want to be is healthy. So you've really got to prioritize your health for longevity as well. And that's another point. When I'm talking, when I'm meeting with clients on a call and they're about to sign up to my coaching, I tell them like, look, we're going to make your pectus look better, which to you might be the most important thing in the world. But the reality is the most important thing is your health and your longevity. And so the good thing about this is it's going to make you healthier. It's going to make you fitter. It's going to make you stronger. So many things that will help you build a better life and a longer life. Um, and, you know, at the end of the day, that's so important. So, you know, when we're training for pectus, we're also training for life. Like everyone should be working out with weights, stretching and eating well. So why not just have a program tailored to pectus and then you're becoming a better, healthier human and making the pectus look better and feel better. Anyway, just a little video for today. I hope um, this give, gave you some insight. Start doing some cardio. If you're interested in coaching, then book a strategy call with me. And um, I look forward to meeting you soon.